Um, being committed, uh, also it's about having pride, so you will obviously get a wonderful sense of pride <clears throat> with the work that you do because you're helping people, you're helping athletes, you're helping those who are in that grey zone. Uh, there's that pride, the happiness, and you're getting results. Uh, so, as you are committed to this journey, as you continue with it, these just flow naturally. And it just becomes part of you. It becomes second nature. <clears throat> Although, I'll put down how here, these, with time, become a part of you. So here we are at the end. The four pillars, um, the four essentials to um, help you become a wonderful sports physiotherapist. Uh, not just a sports physiotherapist, if you are a therapist who works with sport, uh, you want to be looking at these pillars. There's competence, confidence, professional development and commitment. So what are the three things that uh, you need to do next? Firstly, you want to have the correct mindset. I talked about mindset before and I feel this is a major, major area uh, for you as a practitioner. With your very next patient, what I'd like to, for you to think about first is you say, you think to yourself, how do I make the biggest difference in the shortest period of time for this person? You think about it first. And you, before you even go into the room or before you even speak to them, you know the case because you've seen them before or it might be a new client or a new patient, new um, athlete. You say to them, well, what, how can I make the best difference the biggest difference in the shortest period of time for this person. You have that in your mindset. You have that in your mind. The next thing I'd like you to do is say that to the person. Even if it's someone you have been seeing for the last three, four, six weeks, you say, Mrs. Jones, I am going to get you the best result in the shortest period of time from now on. And see how that statement will make a difference to them. That will help improve and correct the mindset for you as well. Because you're always thinking and you start becoming what you want to be where you're getting the best results in the shortest period of time. The second thing I'd like you to think about if there's one thing you want to achieve this year, it's going to be da da da. I want you to write that down and I want you to share that with yourself. Okay? You don't need to share it with everyone. You can. Um, there's actually um, a lot of research where if you share your goals with your colleagues, friends, family, they're more likely to come true. So, okay, you can do that too. You can, well, do this as a second thing. One thing I want to achieve this year is this. And write it down. The third thing I'd like you to do is if there's one thing I want to learn this year and I want you to write that down as well. Writing things down are very powerful. By writing things down you're making a, you're making a contract with yourself. By sharing it solidifies it. Okay? So go ahead. Share it. Write it and then share it. Hi there again. I hope you enjoyed that lecture. Uh, I have enjoyed putting uh, my lecture material out there and I've enjoyed um, bringing this lecture particularly because um, I was, uh, for me to do this, it, there was a lot of understanding of where I had been and uh, where I am now. So um, I just wanted to share all of this with you because. Um, sometimes being a young practitioner or a young therapist and you're trying to make your way, uh, you want to try and get uh, as much information as possible. I hope this has helped you. It certainly has um, made a bigger difference uh, in my career 
uh, now that I know it, uh, I wish I had known this, uh, say, even 15 years ago when I first started, because then I could work on these building blocks. Um, once again, thank you for listening. I hope you've enjoyed it. And go out there, be the best that you can be, and make a difference in the world. And I wish you well. So, see you next time. Till then, goodbye.